Buenos Aires, the capital of Argentina, a city of culture, vibrancy, dance and passion. This year, the South American country celebrates 50 years of diplomatic relations with China. I've traveled to Argentina to examine the country's development, look at the deepening ties with China, and also look at the potential for future collaborations. To begin, I wanted to get an overview of the relationship between Argentina and China. Matas Colfas is Argentina's former Minister of Productive Development. It's a sumamente positiva que ha crecido en el tiempo. Si nos remitimos a lo que ocurría hace 20 años, el intercambio entre Argentina y China se ubicaba en torno a los 3 mil millones de dólares y se multiplicó por 6 en 20 años. Y esto da cuenta del dinamismo que ha tenido la relación bilateral. I thought I would put that to the test. I began my travels at Estancia La Republica a large farm a few hours from Buenos Aires. And then just out here, this is where, this is where you entertain Xi Jinping. Yes, over here was the show. The horses uh, and the dancers and the tango and uh, the flags. China's President Xi Jinping visited the Estancia during a state visit to Argentina in 2014. During the visit, President Xi said the two countries should enhance agricultural cooperation and hoped more Chinese consumers would choose Argentina products. Raul Mineta is a co-owner of the Estancia and was the host for the event. He entertained China's president with a show by local gaucho horsemen, as well as a tango display. Uh, what we did is we showed uh, the president our food, our animals, our cattle, our music. Uh, we had a tango show. He was very curious about uh, specific questions on uh, the quantic part of everything. I mean, he wanted to know how many acres, how many um, hours a day someone works, uh, what's the price of a kilogram of meat, and of a, of a, I don't know, if you buy a bull, for how long does it live? Everything was a, uh, there was like a, like a computer. Since that 2014 visit, it would appear that trade between the two countries has deepened significantly, especially in agricultural goods. In 2018, the two countries signed further trade deals, as President Xi and Argentinian President Mauricio Macri announced more than 30 agricultural and investment deals. The impacts of those trade deals for Argentinian agricultural companies is clear. Frigorifico Rio Platense is one of Argentina's largest beef processing plants. China market has become the main market in the world today. In our case, 60% of our exports go to the Chinese market. All of our investments are focused today uh, on attending that market because we think and we're completely sure that this demand will increase. Not only uh, has increased uh, significantly, but it will continue to increase. So China today, I would say, has changed the whole business. It's not just agriculture that has been the focus for China and Argentina collaborations. Another is green energy. Jujuy is an Argentinian province in the extreme northwest of the country and the home to the Salinas Grandes, the third largest salt flats in the world. Our destination, the Kachari Solar Power Plant. It has a total capacity of 300 megawatts. It was built by Power China Construction Company and equipment manufacturer Shanghai Electric. 
región tiene, este, este proyecto tiene un impacto muy importante, ya que genera ingresos muy importantes para la provincia de Jujuy. De vista social, podemos decir que mejora la calidad de vida de la gente, dándole trabajo a la gente de la zona. Leonor Sosa es from the local indigenous community. He was employed during the construction phase and now works at the plant as a security officer. Sí, mira, la vida no sé cómo habrá sido si no hubiese estado este proyecto, yo creo, ¿no? Eh, hubiese habido mucho menos, no, mucha más personas sin trabajo. Since the plant was built, the economic activity in the region has increased. Ya se nota, se nota en, en lo que es la, la parte social del pueblo, ha crecido mucho el poder económico. La gente ha empezado a tener, a adquirir eh, unos sueldos más acorde. Xi Pingtu is the president of Power China Argentina. Jujuy used to be a, a province before this project. They always import the energy from the other province and even from Chile. With this project, they have enough energy. Uh, it's very good for the living and also for, for the production. Gerardo Morales is the governor of Hahui, who oversaw the development of the plant. He met with Xi Jinping in 2018. When we visited China and I met with Xi Jinping, del gobierno chino ha sido siempre buena con profundizar el vínculo y realizar inversiones en la República Argentina, particularmente en Jujuy. Nosotros hemos tomado la decisión de luchar contra el cambio climático. Este, hemos denominado Jujuy Provincia Verde. Back in Buenos Aires, La Feria de San Telmo, a vast Sunday market, has taken over the streets of the old downtown area. It perhaps underlines the entrepreneurial spirit of the city, as well as the potential for global sales. In 2018, during the G20 summit, Xi Jinping outlined the importance of embracing the digital economy, promoting e-commerce platforms. One industry that has embraced that is Argentinian wine. Y dos, aparece una nueva forma de vender que tiene que ver con esta forma moderna de streamear y subir a las plataformas de redes sociales chinas el contenido de tu producto en donde se abre la oportunidad en tiempo real de vos poder comercializar. Ties between the two countries look set to deepen further. A key focus for Buenos Aires moving forward is on attracting Chinese students, tourists, as well as digital nomads. I would say, in general terms, Argentina has found in China a, a very important trading and uh, investment partner. And the other thing is an increasing willingness on our side to attract uh, Chinese companies, Chinese visitors, Chinese students. So that's our strategy. Um, but the relation has been growing for, uh, for the last few years, for the last few decades, and we, we want to remain so. As I depart, I reflect on the ties between China and Argentina, two countries separated by almost 20,000 kilometers. In 2014, China's President Xi Jinping was quoted as saying bosom friends make distance disappear. On this evidence, that appears to be a sentiment that resonates across Argentina. Thank you.